What is ULEX? ULEX, the philosophical version. Um, ULEX at its core, I think we're a, a material science company. So we develop innovative plant-based solutions to replace oil-based products. Um, ULEX as a product or a noun, ULEX is certified natural rubber. So this can mean solid latex um, to go into things like footwear, for outsoles, foams, for wetsuits. But ULEX, just think of it as your purified, sustainable, natural rubber source. And what was the origin story for the ULEX business? Like, how did that come about? Early 2000s is when ULEX actually started. Um, so ULEX came about by working with a desert shrub called Wayuli. And then it eventually moved to the rubber tree or Havea brasiliensis. And I would say got more traction when we started working with Patagonia on wetsuit foam to replace neoprene. So Ulex really got its notoriety from being the world's first replacement for neoprene or chloroprene rubber. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, where it's farmed and what those conditions are like and sort of talk us through the, the process of creating the Ulex? Sure. So we're really geographically diverse. So we work with plantations in Guatemala, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, and Thailand. And we work with both FSC and PEFC certified supply chains. And this ensures uh, no deforestation and just fair pay and benefits for the workers that work on the plantation. And most recently, our work with PEFC is just really exciting because we're actually the first company to share profits with the smallholders, which has never really been done before. So these smallholders, their family owned farms, some have as little as maybe 10 acres that are contributing to the worldwide rubber supply. And smallholders make up, I think it's over 180,000 smallholders are part of the PEFC program. And we're the first uh, first company to actually give back to these smallholders or a profit sharing program. What is the process that it goes through? So it's the trees growing on the farms. What happens next? So you have your rubber tree, you tap the tree, kind of like maple syrup, how you tap it. So this liquid latex comes out. And I think the best analogy when I talk about foam production is kind of like cooking or um, like making making bread or making a cake. So you have this base polymer, which is rubber or like flour for bread. And then you have your things that you add to it. So you have fillers, you have blowing agents to give it texture, cell structure. And once these, all the ingredients come together and are masticated, they essentially rise to create the foam, which is a master bun or a slab in industry terms. And the slab is then sliced and it's ready for lamination after a curing period. So once it kind of cools down, it's ready for lamination. So the process of making Ulex foam is essentially the same as making any other foam. It's just the base polymer is different. So you have natural rubber versus a synthetic. Is there any nasty chemicals or nasty processes involved with that transformation? You mean like as nasty as neoprene? <laughs> exactly. Um, no. Short answer, no. We use the best materials that we can. So we're looking as many bio-based options as possible. The, the most sustainable oils, the best blowing agents. And this ensures we can just get a really great product and keep integrity in a plant-based foam. Why is Ulex more sustainable than limestone suits? It's the sustainable option. Um, it's I get this question a lot. So the, the two biggest questions when people come to me are, does it perform and is it sustainable? Or tell me why. Tell me why it's sustainable. Neoprene is incredibly toxic. And not only that, it's carcinogenic as well when you're talking about chloroprene rubber. Um, limestone, I think, was the next evolution. And it's a beautiful material don't get me wrong I, I grew up in southern california i i've heard all about you know everyone's great suits and it's um it's a wonderful material but we just kind of have to keep we have to keep evolving and keep finding a better alternative so 
Ulex Natural Rubber, it's a renewable source. And that's where it, it, it truly differs, um, not just on the toxic traits, but it truly differs because it's actually renewable. You can't grow limestone. Once you mine these caves, it's gone. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't grow back. So you have these plantations that are supporting local farmers and you have a renewable source and we're also having carbon sequestration along with it. So I think all good things point to, to natural rubber. Do you think that it's possible for um, the ULX natural foam to totally replace the other constructions in terms of like scalability and availability of the materials yes absolutely yeah. a million times yes there like, isn't enough natural rubber to go around there is enough natural rubber resources to do 20 times what's on the market early on there wasn't um the certification for fsc to cover all the raw materials but the more companies are working with fsc the better we're getting away from we call it conflict rubber. The more we can improve on these certification bodies using FSC and PEFC, we're just increasing the supply so you know where your product is coming from, which I think is something different working with ULEX is we, we kind of take you on the adventure, right? So if you go to the ULEX website, like you can see you can see us at the plantations and I'm actually going out to uh, Vietnam and Thailand, I think in about two weeks, I have to get my visa. Um, I'm going really soon, but um, you know we're we're there on the plantations, and there's just such an abundance, and we can truly transform the industry. Yeah, we agree. We um we're pretty excited about committing to all future production to be in Ulets, and you know moving away from any of the other constructions. So. For us, it's yeah, it's a clear path forward that we're yeah, we're really excited about.